ever since we came into quarantine, we've all had to make a lot of changes. And the one thing almost all of us have had to do is start working out at home. I don't mind working out at home. It's okay. You know, it's not the gym, but hey, what is? Although the problem I have is I have to use my phone to listen to music. And now that I don't have YouTube Prime or YouTube Red or YouTube Premium, whatever they call it these days, I have to listen to ads. And they're so annoying that I figured it would literally be easier to use one of my old computers and buy a soundbar than to pay for YouTube Premium. So that's exactly what I did. And to not be super cheap, but once again, we are just working out for an hour. I'm not gonna go drop a hundred something dollars on a soundbar. Instead, I found this. It is a comp it, it is a literal soundbar. That is the name on the box. There's no brand name. It's just made in China soundbar. It, <laughs> I I don't even know what to say. It's typically 50 bucks. I bought this at $33 on Amazon.ca. I figured, what did I have to lose? It has everything I need, which is an aux port and USB derived power. So yeah, it apparently can also take battery power. I guess we'll find out, but yeah, let's find out and see how good the sound bar is. Let's start by unboxing the soundbar and seeing what's exactly included with this product. Once again, for $33, I'm not expecting the moon on this one, but it was regularly 50 bucks. Now, the packaging here is fairly sparse, but we have the manual. And this is fairly pointless. I don't even know why they include these things. It just tells you what the controls are and some useless instructional information. Really, if you're a real man, you'll know what the stuff does anyway. Next, we have the USB cable. Uh, this doesn't feel the best, but let's take it apart and let's see how long it is at least. Now, since this does use USB power, you're going to need to buy an adapter or use like your cell phone adapter. This looks to be about three feet. It's just a regular USB cable, micro USB. They also include an aux cable. This thing feels so thin. It also feels about three feet long, but this thing feels cheap. Next, we have the remote. Shockingly, a little bit large for this kind of soundbar. And then we have this RCA adapter. And I guess this is to hook up to a TV. And finally, we have the soundbar. This thing feels nice and hefty. The build quality does actually feel really good for this price point. I wouldn't say it's like a full metal construction or anything, but the plastic does feel like good and has nice rubberized feet. So that way you can stick it to the desk. You got your controls here, which are like your volume up, volume down, your mode switch, which is like this back arrow and then the power. So let's plug it in now and let's do a sound test and see how it goes. And of course here on the back, you have just the aux cable, USB power and TF uh, SD card. As you can see in the box, there's not a whole lot there. Like I said, this is USB derived power, which is nice. I don't see the batteries compartment on here. So that might have been a false flag that I saw in the description. Oh my God. You are so fat and so stupid. The batteries are built into the speaker. You don't use AA batteries. Jesus, how are you allowed to make tech videos? If your brain was any smoother, we could curl on it. But either way, you're probably not going to use this with batteries. So that's not a real big deal. I never bought this anyway. I bought this for the sheer fact I wanted to have a USB powered soundbar or just a powered soundbar, period. And it does come with this <laughs> insultingly small cable. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Luckily, I found a bigger one. So let's plug that in here. And then let's load up our phone. I've got the bottom mounted headphone jack. Grab the other side here. Let's plug that in. Okay, let's power it on. And we will see how it how it goes. What? Wait, what was that? Hang on, what was that? Let's find out. Power off. <gasps> oh my god. 
Power on, lie mode. Power on, lie mode? What? It has a microphone. It is Bluetooth 5 compatible. Whoa. It is Bluetooth 5 compatible, so you are expected to be able to take calls on here. Looking at the side, I see volume up, volume down, answer call, go back. I, I see the standard, I see the standard fare, but let's try it. Let me just go into my phone here. Let me turn on, oh, Bluetooth is on, okay. Let's go connect to the sound bar then. I can only imagine how much data this thing is stealing right now. Uh, I only can imagine. Show more. Let's find, oh, GoPro, headphones, LG, which is the soundbar upstairs. If only there was like some type of like way I could look this stuff up and figure out if they have like a special name. Okay, and we're back. So after consulting with this magic book that they included, it seems to have like all these like questions and answers that people could ever have. It's crazy. I don't know why more manufacturers don't include these. These are crazy good. But after reading through it, you'll find that the name is going to be called a soundbar Y9, which once again, that's not labeled on the box anywhere. So that's just what we're going to go with. But also I couldn't get into the Bluetooth because it wasn't in Bluetooth mode because I had the aux cable plugged in. And because I had the aux cable, it was in the aux mode. Now you can either click the button on the side here with the little back arrow, or you can just unplug the aux cable and that will send it into Bluetooth mode. But either way, you do that, do a scan, you'll find it super easy. Now let's try out the sound and see how it goes because that's the thing that we are all here and that we all care about. In three, two, one, that's an ad. That That is an ad. That that's an ad. Okay. That that's another ad. I am literally sitting here watching ads while filming a video about not wanting to watch ads. Okay, here we go. You know? That that is not bad. For 30 bucks. That is an absolutely passable sound if you're just working out. Like, yeah, it's not the greatest sound, but once again, it's $30. Like, you have to taper your expectations. I don't expect this to work as well as the one I have plugged into my, my big TV upstairs. But this is not bad. I can live with this. 100%. How loud does this go? Oh. Nope. Nope, 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 no, 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 no. Nope, we definitely don't want that. Okay, so I can't I don't want to use those controls. Probably best to use the remote, huh? Do I even have batteries for this thing? They did not include batteries. And I don't have batteries. Well, based on the quality of this, we can assume that the loudness is not gonna be something you want to go for. But it's not bad. This is absolutely passable sound. If you're doing this for workouts. I can, I'll mess with this. I'll keep it. This is not bad. Yeah. So there you guys go. That is the soundbar. Based on this, what we could only be called the soundbar Y9. Once again, not label in the box at all or in any of the marketing materials. But the soundbar Y9... For 30 bucks, hey, great. For 50 bucks, still good, but it's a little bit of a harder bite for 50 bucks. But for 30 bucks, it's absolutely possible. I would 100% take this. I'm not that picky when I'm working out for, you know, the 45 minutes to an hour. I just want to have music and sound. So I'm happy. But there you guys go. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. If you like this video, hey, why don't you hit that subscribe button? Maybe give this video a like or even a comment. Actually, I'd love a comment. Other than that, my name is Ben Arif, and I will see all of you guys on the next video.